should break through study kidney disease patients taking the antioxidant in this beverage had a significant improvement in proteinuria, the main predictor of kidney disease outcomes in just 90 days. Researchers believe these patients are going to be able to avoid dialysis for years. Catherine here, today's video is a top 5 of the best ways of getting more antioxidants and repairing the kidneys. I decided to talk about this as a result of the most recent breakthroughs in the field of kidney health. What this study proves is a really straightforward way of stopping the progression of kidney disease thanks to a very powerful antioxidant. What they found out in this study is shocking. After just 90 days, the average urinary albumin to creatinine ratio was significantly reduced in the antioxidant group compared to the placebo group. Consider that urinary albumin to creatinine ratio or proteinuria is extremely important in all the stages of kidney disease. This level predicts the progression of CKD. What this means is that taking just a single antioxidant can make all the difference in managing kidney disease. There is now a proof link between improved antioxidant levels in blood and improved kidney function. So guys, this is how we will drink our way out of kidney disease. What I want to share with you are the five fastest, most effective and safest ways to improve your antioxidant status with the goal of completely avoiding the risk of ending up in dialysis. My main focus is going to be the drinks you can have every day to boost your antioxidant levels. This is because wild foods such as berries, red grapes, nuts, and dark green veggies are rich in antioxidants. We mostly get antioxidants from what we drink. Guys, if you think this breakthrough is significant, please share this video with anyone you know who is suffering from diabetes or kidney problems. Back to our study now. You may want to know exactly what they use. The antioxidant they use in this video to stop the progression of kidney disease is resveratrol, a polyphenol mainly found in red wine and grape skin. And today we are going to see not just exactly how to take resveratrol, but also how to make it way more powerful. So the big question is, should you drink red wine to improve kidney health? Antioxidants and resveratrol are crucial for kidney health, as we have seen. There is solid science linking increased levels of antioxidants in the blood to a slower decline of kidney function or completely stopping CKD, which is our main goal. And red wine is so rich in antioxidants, some studies say that drinking it may have benefits despite the huge risks linked to alcohol consumption. I'm wondering why researchers seem to really like putting a lot of alcoholic beverages in their experiments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Researchers are not alcoholics. This is what they call the French paradox. What they never tell you is that one glass of red wine only contains around one milligram or even less resveratrol. This is not enough and it's totally not worth the risks associated with alcohol consumption. Don't drink red wine. We will see how to get way more resveratrol than what any wine can offer as our number one. But before that, four other ways of greatly improving your antioxidant status, which as we have seen, is strongly linked to improve kidney function. Our number five is a drink which is cheaper, healthier, and that has even better antioxidants than red wine. To get a ton of health benefits, drink number five, corn silk tea. Corn silk is a very interesting remedy with powerful kidney repairing properties, according to science. In a recent study, Corn silk extract has been found to repair kidney function. Researchers believe that the potent antioxidants in corn silk work on a molecular level to repair the lining of the bladder and urinary tubules to reduce irritation and increase urine secretion.
and while this effect was seen on rats, both serum creatinine and urea were improved with corn silk in the study. This is why people use corn silk for the treatment of cystitis, edema, kidney stones as a diuretic for prostate disorder and urinary infections, as well as high blood pressure and diabetes. Most commonly used dosage for the extract is 1200 mg per day, but you can also prepare it as a tea. And being a waste material, corn silk is very cheap. There are several brands selling it and this one in particular costs less than $17 for 250, meaning that with $17 you can have a 6 month supply. Corn silk is considered safe. The only known side effect it has is lowering potassium levels in the blood. Now guys, there is only one beverage that's even richer in antioxidants than corn silk tea and that's even cheaper. Number 4. Coffee Many people are misinformed about coffee. They believe that since this beverage tastes good, it must be bad for you. But when you look at the evidence, most studies on coffee and kidney health find that it's actually beneficial. Coffee has been linked to a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, liver diseases, and to an increased lifespan in people with CKD. And a large study published recently directly linked coffee to a beneficial effect on kidney function. And clearly, Many of coffee's positive health effects may be due to its impressive content of powerful antioxidants. Now, before starting to drink coffee, there are two things to consider. First, only black coffee has benefits. Never add sugar, creamers, or other junk to your cup. And second, caffeine may spike blood pressure in those not used to drink coffee. Question, can this be avoided? Does decaf have the same antioxidants as regular coffee? According to studies, decaf offers around the same amount of antioxidants of regular coffee. Yes, coffee is not the devil it's been made out to be. Add one more cup, maybe a decaf, to boost your antioxidant levels and kidney health. Almost time to see how to turn resveratrol into a kidney health miracle. But before that, Let's see some tips to add healthy antioxidant superfoods to our diet. Because while it's true that we mostly drink our antioxidants, certain foods are just too healthy not to talk about them. Number 3. Be sure to include in your diet beet and beet juice. This veggie is so full of antioxidants, vitamins, and phytochemicals that just eating it in small amounts daily can positively impact the health of people with kidney problems. In a recent study on CKD patients, blood pressure was reduced at the point that some patients were able to swap blood pressure medications for beet juice. And also consider red cabbage. All cabbages are great additions to a well-planned kidney diet. They are low in potassium and calories, can be used in many healthy and tasty dishes, but Red cabbage is richer in antioxidant, making it even healthier. And don't forget blackberries. Berries should always be present in a renal diet. They're too healthy and low in dangerous minerals to be ignored. And blackberries are the best when it comes to the antioxidant content. Also, don't forget grapes in season right now and extremely healthy and delicious. Red grapes, in particular, are full of resveratrol, which is linked to reducing kidney damage, as we have seen. Now guys, these foods are powerful kidney protectors and a great part of a long-term renal-friendly diet. But you can only get limited amounts of antioxidants from them. If you want to raise your antioxidant levels fast right now, use number two, resveratrol. Yes. You can have the heart healthy and kidney restoring benefits of red wine without the risks connected to alcohol consumption. Resveratrol is a polyphenol which is extremely effective and when supplemented in the right form, it can be thousands of times more powerful than red wine. Now, what you should know before purchasing an antioxidant supplement is that you don't want to supplement resveratrol alone. Because while high doses of resveratrol, such as 
the 500 milligrams used in the study we have seen earlier can work when it comes to antioxidants the synergistic combination of two or more substances is more effective than three or four times higher doses of a single element this is why all the most effective antioxidant supplements you can find will have four five or sometimes even 10 different ingredients together. And while I always recommend to do your own research and consult your doctor before starting any supplement, I'm also managing a list of all the most well-researched and safe remedies for kidney health. It's on newhopeforkidneypatients.com, my own website, and the link is in the description. And don't forget to take antioxidant supplements at the same time as a meal rich in antioxidant foods. Now guys, if you want to raise your antioxidant levels fast right now, there is just one thing that works even better. Our number one is not just very powerful antioxidant, it also has incredible properties in fighting kidney disease. This powerful flavonoid can lower your blood pressure by 5.8 over 2.6 millimeters of mercury, can lower blood sugar levels significantly, can protect the kidneys from the damage done by free radicals better than anything else? Number 1. Supplement Quercetin Quercetin is a flavonoid with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. It's what makes apples, onions and green tea so healthy for you. Yes, there is a lot of buzz around quercetin today because many new studies are coming out showing the world how powerful this flavonoid actually is. And when it comes to helping people with kidney disease, its benefits seem to be even more powerful. Quercetin has been shown to support the cardiovascular system by lowering blood pressure and cholesterol and relaxing blood vessels great to improve blood flow to the kidneys. Quercetin is particularly useful for patients suffering from diabetes because it protects the kidneys and other organs from the damage this disease causes. Yes, quercetin is very powerful. It only has one downside. The way you take this flavonoid can literally make or break it. Quercetin is poorly absorbed by the body. This is why you should get informed about it. Watch my video up here so I can show you everything you need to know before you start to supplement it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.